क्रिप्टो स्टॉक मार्केट एवरीथिंग डाउन व्हाट टू डू दोस्तों ये ऐसा माहौल चल रहा है इस वक्त कि दुनिया में लास्ट कपल ऑफ वीक्स में बहुत ज्यादा स्टॉक मार्केट्स में डिक्लाइन आए हैं इंक्लूडिंग इंडिया एंड इट्स नॉट जस्ट इंडिया ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड डिक्लाइन आए हैं और ये डिक्लाइन स्टॉक मार्केट में पूरी दुनिया में सबसे ज्यादा दिख रहा है जोर जोर की मार्केट गिरी है यू नो सेंसेक्स कई बार हजार हजार पॉइंट रोज गिर रहा है सेम ये यूएसए में भी जो एस एन पी फाइव हंड्रेड है वो भी गिरे जा रहा है दुनिया भर के एक्विटीज गिरे जा रहे हैं कभी अब वापस आते हैं पर ज्यादातर गिरे जा रहे हैं और लोग कह रहे हैं और गिरेगा और क्रिप्टो के तो बहुत ही बुरे हाल है आई एम नॉट अ क्रिप्टो एक्सपर्ट एट ऑल आई एम नॉट गोट सेल क्रिप्टो सब डाउन है लेकिन यू नो लाइक आई वॉट आई कुड सी वॉज बिटकॉइन हाई सिक्सटी थाउजेंड समथिंग सिक्स मंथस गो नाउ इट्स लाइक थर्टी थाउजेंड एट द टाइम ऑफ मेकिंग दिस वीडियो I am not going to predict the price of Bitcoin. I am not going to say ki bate ro. I am not going to say sell. I am not going to say buy, hold, sell. I am not going to do all that, right? But the stock market is also showing a similar trend. In fact, I would say all risk assets. मतलब जिस जिस जगह भी पैसा risk में लगा हुआ है लोगों को अभी वहाँ comfort नहीं आ रहा है वो चीजें गिरे जा रही हैं कीमतें गिरे जा रही हैं. What does it all mean, right? What and why is this happening? Okay, firstly, if you are new to the market. You are just new, नया नया आपने पैसे इन्वेस्ट किए आई कैन टेल यू दैट दिस इज नॉट समथिंग दैट इज एक्सेप्शन की आज अभी पहली बार हो रहा है राइट इफ यू बिन इन द मार्केट फॉर लॉन्ग टाइम आई बीन सींग द मार्केट सिंस हाउ लॉन्ग लेट्स ट्वेंटी फाइव ईयर्स मे बी थर्टी ईयर्स ट्वेंटी फाइव ईयर्स चलो सो इन ट्वेंटी फाइव ईयर्स आई हैव सीन लॉट्स ऑफ अप्स एंड डाउन Uh, 1997 is when I got my first job in banking, and that's when I started studying the markets. 2000 there was a huge dot com bubble crash. I remember that. 2008 there was a subprime crisis in the US. जब बहुत सारे लोगों ने वहाँ पे you know people had uh, taken too much debt and buying two two houses, three three houses on and on borrowing and then trying to sell them. क्यों भाई market बढ़ेगी and फिर suddenly नहीं बढ़ी. Bad debts happened. All kind of things happened. that time the markets crashed all over the world uh, we had other kind of uh, corona ke start mein i remember markets kind of went down there were many more mini kind of crashes bear markets what they say and then it came back also uh, now we are seeing witnessing after a huge boom in corona time lot of stocks had gone up logon ne kaha tha ki corona mein itne kyu badh rahe hain but people still felt that the big companies continue to do well um, but uh, now they are coming down so why is it coming down it's work the overall market jab sab gir raha hota hai that's usually a sentiment overall in the market that things are not looking positive there's no reason to think ki things will get better right now there's no reason to things will uh, upside ki ye hone wala hai achhi cheez now is it rational no it's not 100% rational markets are also emotional why because market is made of human beings right um market is made of human beings so people will suddenly feel risky now the ukraine war started uh, in february and the markets did go down a little bit then but then not that much but now suddenly people are feeling that this war is one of the big risks uh ye war band nahi hone wala hai iska koi solution nahi hai and as the war continues uh oil supplies may be hit or whatever uh, prices will go up and that will cause a lot of inflation Uh, cause a lot of problems in terms of oil prices and will shake the economy of the world that's one of the factors second is i think in the corona time like at least in the us uh, the government printed lot of money and sent money checks to people's houses tab log bade khush ho rahe the are wah government paise bhej rahi hai maza aa gaye theek hai ya matlab maybe it was necessary also people were not able to do their job but then who is paying the bill for that government kahan se paise bhejti hai right lot of people feel very good our government ne diye government bahut achhi hai but <laughs> government is elected by people i mean there's just the people who are running the office they don't have any money of their own they have to take the money from the people only so anything the government spends is not it's just redistribution government has to get that money from somewhere so in this case the government printed a lot of money they can't get it from anywhere they've just made money in the system but the number of things are the same so what is it going to do it's going to lead to prices of things going up it's going to lead to inflation so there is inflationary pressure not just from russia war but also from all this post covid impact all over the world we are finding huge inflationary pressure at, at covid time a lot of people lost their jobs now they have to be hired back but a lot of people are not back 
and therefore they are leading to a lot of issues in terms of employment cost companies are not able to get enough people and not produce output so it's leading to inflation due to covid also there are a lot of supply chain disruptions so mal pahunch nahi raha literally mal pahunch nahi raha aur agar kai cheeze aise hai jaise car hai usme ek chips nahi pahunch raha hai to car puri nahi ban sakti things like that semiconductor shortages one of the issues so this is creating all kinds of problems for companies costs are going up they are not able to produce fast enough like the apple one of the biggest companies in the world said ki they may have some lower sales of iphone not so much because of demand but because they may not be able to make them because they can't get the chips or supply chain constraint they didn't say what exactly so these are factors that are causing so there's huge inflationary pressure there are supply chain constraints there's the russian uh, ukrainian war situation which is not going away there are a couple of other factors too which is now making the people feel nervous and the markets don't forget had gone up a lot like the markets had gone up a lot in 2021 so yes they have fallen a lot but they have basically given up the whole of 2021 ke gains so you are still back to 2020 it's not crazy if you look at it that way but if you came into the market at the high or, or if you have you had once been in the market when it was so high then it's very bad to see the value of your investments go down so much but it's part of life you know it's part of life and uh, stock markets will go out like this i can't tell you whether it is going to go down further or not it might because sentiment right is like trying to catch a falling knife ab pata nahi sentiment kahan pe change hoga abhi logo ka nahi nahi becho becho sab bekar hai sab bekar hai fir ek time itna gir jayega fir sentiment lagega ek minute yaar kuch zyada hi gir gaya chalo khareedo 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 ab wo kaun sa point hai experts will come on tv trying to tell you but nobody knows okay all you know is you have to go for the right it's like the waves they go up and down up and down finally in the long term if you see a 100 year history of the stock market the average annual return is pretty good any stock market in the world any decent stock market in the world long period of time if you've been there for 10 years 20 years you'll you largely make money number one number two if you enter right now obviously you are at a discount your market is not at all time high market is 20% below all time high so in some ways it's a discount can it go down more 10% yeah maybe but if you buy now and keep it for 10 years it will still be a good price to have entered because you are not entering at the all time high so that way if you it's not a bad time to enter the market it may there may be a better time to enter the market but you can't predict but today is not a bad time to enter the market long term if you stick around these things shouldn't matter you're not going to sell each time and if you sell when everybody has sold you lose money then when you buy when everything is going high then you're buying it too expensive so the market ka best lesson is just to watch the waves from the beach and or, or like from your boat and ride it and the boat will take you somewhere but if you keep looking at the waves and keep jumping into the water out of the water it's not good crypto i don't know because i'm not a crypto guy at all there are people who do it you know warren buffett just said he doesn't like crypto at all he's one of the richest guys in the world one of the biggest investors in the world he said he will not buy all the bitcoin in the world for 25 dollars because he believes fundamentally there is no value fundamentally there is no company behind bitcoin there is no asset behind bitcoin valid view but i think you can have value if people have faith in something agar log vishwas rakhte hai kisi cheez mein to uski value hai ab jaise gold hai uski ha thodi bahut value hai ki uske uses hain some machines and all mein but largely gold ki value is there because people think it's precious it's just a yellow shiny metal i mean there's so many other metals which are shiny we don't care about copper it's maybe even more beautiful than gold if you look at it if you like that color but gold is rare and people have value to uski value bani rehti hai bitcoin is kind of like that but if people only buy bitcoin thinking ki you know one day it's going to go up more and at some day it's going to stop because it's not going to be possible to it for it to keep going up and up because unless like more and more people keep coming into it but now with so many ups and downs of bitcoin people are also scared to enter into it so wo bhi hai right but faith does matter like religion is what faith only there's no underlying thing so faith can also have value but it's very crazy so all i would say for crypto people is like don't put a lot of your money in it don't think you're going to get rich by crypto crypto is a fun toy maybe like just a little bit of playing around usse zyada nahi i don't do it you know and i get very scared of it honestly but stock market also is scary right now the stock market also scary everything is scary what is not scary 
but in the long term stick around good investors stick around they make money in the long term and they are called great investors later whereas sometimes all they did was kept their cool through things so yeah everything is going down but everything may come up they may go down further who don't know long term still pretty good to stay in the market i think and keep you all cool about it anything that happens in life just keep you cool more than anything i hope this video helped you put understand things in context you know if you liked there is a like button subscribe share whatever and more than anything keep improving yourself take care hi guys thank you for watching this video if you liked it do like subscribe share and comment and to invite me as a speaker at your event please contact my team at the contacts here and also given in the description below take care